Cole, um, what's been the key to your good start this year? And have you made any changements or adjustments from last year? Uh, for the most part, it's actually been pretty simple. Some of it's just from an approach standpoint, trying to be more aggressive in the zone early, uh, especially with multiple off-speed pitches. A few mechanical changes. I mean, one of them, I just moved over on the rubber just a little bit to try to give my breaking pitches a little bit more room on the plate before breaking off. Um, so trying to attack the zone and then just make everything look more like a, a strike out of hand. So mostly an approach standpoint. Dan Connolly, go ahead. Well, I often say in baseball, that it's, it's how you handle the successes and the struggles. And I think you kind of had a little bit of both last year. What did you learn from, from 2020? Uh, I, I learned a lot. Like you said, there was definitely some ups and downs. Uh, and the biggest thing you can kind of do in baseball, as you mentioned, is try to level those off. You know, you never want to get too high on your good days or too low on the bad days. Um, and so a lot of that was kind of looking at what I did well and trying to keep that and looking where I may have faltered or kind of gotten away from my strengths and try to always remind myself that even if maybe your outing's not going the best or you're having a rough stretch, um, to still kind of trust in your stuff and just keep your approach simple. I mean, a lot of times when we overcomplicate things, we kind of end up with some very mixed results. So I kind of really learned that just want to identify my strengths and really stick with them. Rich Shebra. Hey, Cole, you and uh, Lakens and Tate and, you know, a couple of others have options mm -hmm. uh, this year. And, you know, with the team, with a, with a young team and trying to save starters, there are going to be a lot of transactions uh, between here and, and the alternate site and then later uh, Norfolk. Um, how difficult is that to, to realize that, you know, even if you pitch well, you may, you may get caught up in a numbers game? Yeah, I mean, it's something that you never want really as a baseball player, I guess, is, you know, it's never fun to be sent down. You want to be here contributing every day. I mean, it's our dream and that's our, our goal for sure. Uh, at the same time though, you just try not to take it personal. I mean, it's, uh, you know, sometimes decisions have to be made. And like you said, there's some roster flexibility or some contract flexibility. Um, and that's just kind of the way it is. So you just try to go out there whenever your name's called, uh, be ready as you can and try to contribute to the team. And you just try to, as long, I think as long as you concentrate on that and don't try to get too worked up about what's happening and why, or when am I going to be back or when am I going to be sent down? I think it's a lot better. Just try to concentrate on what you can control. And that's a going out there with the best stuff I can. Nathan Ruiz, go ahead. Hey Cole, the changes you mentioned earlier, those things that you pursued yourself, did, did Holt or Holmes recommend those to you? How did you go about uh, discovering that you need to make those changes and, and who recommended them to you? I mean, some of it was uh, definitely Holt and Holmes. We talked about it even during last season, uh, a little bit on myself as well. Some of it was just identifying kind of what was happening with my pitches, uh, why maybe they were, you know, being taken out of hand too easily. That was kind of the mechanical adjustment. As far as from the approach standpoint, that is definitely something that our pitching coaches are trying to drive home to all of us is that we need to remain on attack and remain aggressive. And so I think uh, it was kind of both those, taking it to heart myself, looking at the, the results. And as I mentioned earlier, some things I did positive and negative, um, and then speaking with them and making sure we're kind of all on the same page and coming up with the best, best plan moving forward. Steve Molesky. Cole, you're part of a bullpen last year that made dramatic improvement from the year before. And now it looks like it might be taking it another step further. What's the ceiling for this bullpen? Oh, that's tough to say. I mean, uh, we have some phenomenal arms in the pen, and some of them are doing just a, a great job. They did a great job last year, and they're continuing to move forward with that, as you mentioned. I mean, Paul Fry, Tanner Scott, Dylan Tate, Valdez, we have a, just a ton of guys that had really good years last year. And just as you mentioned, they continue to – keep excelling. So I think it's really tough to define where that limit might be. John Muley. Cole, you mentioned Dylan Tate. You spent a lot of time around him last year, and obviously he wants to take the next step. What, what are your impressions of him as a pitcher and, and, and his potential? Oh, I mean, his potential is phenomenal. I think we all wish we had an arm like that. I, I know I do. I wish I could throw it top end like he does. Uh, it's really impressive stuff. And watching him go about his work, I mean, he's a very dedicated, very 
thoughtful, methodical person. I mean, he uh, really tries to look kind of from the ground floor up about where he can make improvements, how he can continue making his game better. Um, and I think that he's just going to continue to get better and better.